In the vast expanse of our universe, a revolutionary understanding is emerging that challenges everything we thought we knew about life itself. What if the very essence of existence depends on the strange and counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics? This isn't science fiction. It's happening right now in every living cell, running quantum processes more sophisticated than any computer humans have built. Consider the humble plant silently performing miracles of efficiency that put our best technology to shame. While our most advanced solar panels struggle to achieve 22% energy efficiency, plants routinely capture and process light with an astounding 95% efficiency. This remarkable feat isn't just basic chemistry. It's quantum mechanics in action. When sunlight strikes a leaf, something extraordinary occurs. Photons hitting chlorophyll molecules create special energy packets called excitons, which perform a fascinating quantum trick. Through a phenomenon called quantum coherence, these excitons explore every possible energy transfer pathway simultaneously, as if ghosting through a maze and testing every route at once before choosing the optimal path. This quantum superposition allows plants to achieve what seems impossible, nearly perfect energy transfer through complex molecular networks. It's as if nature solved a problem that our best engineers are still struggling to crack and did it billions of years ago. The implications are staggering when we consider that this process happens countless times every second in every plant on Earth, driving the photosynthesis that sustains life on our planet. But plants aren't the only living things harnessing quantum effects. Take the European robin, a small bird that performs remarkable feats of navigation during its seasonal migrations. Scientists have discovered these birds possess a quantum compass in their eyes based on special proteins called cryptochromes. When light hits these proteins, it creates pairs of electrons that become quantum entangled, a phenomenon Einstein famously called spooky action at a distance. The Earth's magnetic field affects these entangled particles differently, creating a pattern that the birds can literally see, allowing them to determine their direction with incredible precision. This discovery revolutionizes our understanding of biological systems. We once thought quantum effects could only occur in carefully controlled laboratory conditions at temperatures near absolute zero. Yet here are birds using quantum entanglement in their warm, wet eyes to navigate across continents. It suggests that rather than being fragile and easily disrupted, quantum processes might be essential to life itself. The quantum nature of life becomes even more profound when we look at its origins. One of the greatest mysteries in science has been how the first self-replicating molecules emerged from the primordial soup of early Earth. The traditional understanding of chemical reactions couldn't explain how these crucial first steps occurred fast enough for life to take hold. Enter quantum tunneling, a phenomenon where particles can pass through energy barriers instead of having to climb over them. This quantum effect allows chemical reactions to occur that would be virtually impossible under classical physics alone. Early protoenzymes likely used quantum coherence to accelerate the crucial reactions needed for self-replication. Without these quantum shortcuts, the chemistry of life might have remained stuck in a dead end, never achieving the complexity needed for living systems to emerge. We're beginning to understand that quantum mechanics wasn't just present at life's beginning. It was essential for it to start at all. Perhaps most intriguing is the possibility that quantum processes might be fundamental to consciousness itself. The penrose Hameroff theory suggests that consciousness emerges from quantum computations occurring in structures called microtubules within brain cells. These microscopic tubes might sustain quantum coherent states long enough to integrate information across neural networks, giving rise to conscious experience. While this remains controversial, it raises profound questions about the nature of consciousness and our place in the universe. If consciousness indeed depends on quantum processes, we might be more than just observers of the quantum world. We might be the universe using quantum mechanics to become aware of itself. Every thought, every moment of awareness could be an expression of the same fundamental quantum principles 
that make photosynthesis possible and guide birds across continents. This new understanding of quantum biology is forcing us to reevaluate everything we thought we knew about life. The line between the quantum and classical worlds isn't a sharp boundary, but a continuum that life has been exploiting since its very beginning. From the first protocells to the complexity of human consciousness, quantum mechanics appears to be not just a background feature, but an essential protagonist in the story of life. We stand at the threshold of a new scientific revolution, where the mysteries of quantum mechanics and the mysteries of life converge. As we continue to uncover the quantum foundations of biological processes, we might find that the supposedly weird and counterintuitive quantum world is actually the key to understanding our very existence. The future of biology, medicine, and our understanding of consciousness itself may lie in exploring these quantum roots of life. In this light, every living thing becomes a sophisticated quantum technology, performing computations and manipulating quantum states in ways we're only beginning to understand. The next time you see a plant reaching for the sun or a bird navigating the skies, remember that you're witnessing quantum mechanics in action, making the impossible possible, turning the abstract mathematics of quantum theory into the living, breathing reality of life itself.